Hello angels and welcome to another tutorial and today we're going to be working on this very this simple music app um, so these are the functionalities that we're going to be working on so it closes and it opens like this and we could play a song we could go to the next song and when we get this is the last song and we could go back to the first song and we can also pause so yeah this is what we're going to be working on this is a um will i say a beginner level kind of project that i'm sure you would enjoy and maybe you are here to refresh your memory not a problem so yeah please if this is your first time here please drop a like and please subscribe and yeah let's jump into this so i have created this simple index.html file there's nothing in it yet so we're going to be starting with the html before moving to css before we work on the functionality and yeah okay so i'm going to start by creating a main then after that i'm going to create a section So in this section, we're going to have like two articles inside or two tags called article articles. And so the first one would be what is going to be on top. The second one is what is going to be um, the music controls. So I'm going to start with the article. So for this article, we're going to give it a class. I'm going to say song details container so the reason why we're giving it a class is because um when we get the javascript um in future we want to add a class list to this and when we add a class list to it we want to do something when there's that class okay so next we have a header so which is going to be where the image is going to be contained and then for now i would just keep putting an image there then uh, under the header we're gonna have a footer then we're gonna have a div And in the div, we're going to have a H3, which is where the song title is going to be. So for now, let me just write the song called Shooting Stars. I've been listening to the, oops, sorry. I've been listening to this recently and I've enjoyed it. So song title. So we're putting an ID called song title there. And under it, I'm going to put a paragraph tag. This is where the title of the song is going to be. So I'm going to say bag readers. And I'm going to give it an ID. The ID is going to be song artist. Okay, so song artist. And hmm. Okay, I think that's pretty that pretty much covers the top aspect. So now let's jump on the music controls where we're going to see the play, pause, pause, rewind. So I've put an article over there. So this article would have an ID. So the ID is going to be called controls. Container. And then. Uh, what's. Hmm. So we're supposed to have like the play, pause, forward, um, rewind, but I'm going to be using uh, flat icons. So there are going to be PNGs for this. So um, give me a moment while I bring in all the assets we're going to be using for this particular side, the images and the PNGs, then we'll jump back into this. 
So I brought in all the assets we're going to be using for this project. Um, so we can see this is, I put them in a, the songs in a folder called songs, then icons that we're going to be using right now. And then the pictures for the album covers. And so for the icons, I'm going to be putting the link to for, for credits purpose because I got it from flat icons and it will be in the description area. Okay, so jumping straight to it, um, what I want to do is bring in the back button. So what's going to, if you want, when, what you click on to go to the previous um, song. Okay, so that's going to be image. So I'm just going to say source is dot slash icon slash back. So I'm going to give, so let's just call, put an alt and just say um, back button, you know, and then inside we're going to, I'm also going to put an ID. I'm going to say this is back button. So back BTN. And maybe this, I believe it was this. Okay, back BTN. And I'm going to create a div inside. This div is going to house the play and pause button. So when it's when the song is being played, it's going to be paused. And when the song is paused, it's going to be the play button that is going to be showing. Um, so for this div, I'm going to give it a class. A class, and we're going to call this class plain plain box. And the image we're going to the first image we're putting here is um so let's say SRC. So we're going to say, and this is going to be icon slash play button, play button, and I'm just going to give it alternate again. I'm just going to say the play button. And then for the ID, I'm going to give it play BTN, which stands for play button. I'm going to duplicate this. And to, I'm going to change this to pause. And then this to pause to, and this to pause. I should have just used the shortcut for that. Okay. Then next, I'm going to bring in the back button. What, so what we click, not back. Uh, well, we're going to also bring, we're bringing the back button again. But this time we're just going to change the direction, if you get what I mean. So rather than bringing another button for what's going to be next. Yeah, so we're bringing in the same image, but we're going to trans transform it to, or rotate it so that it faces another direction. So we're bringing in the icons again. So back button, close this, alternate. We're going to call this um, the next button. And then the ID is going to be next, you guessed it right, BTN. All right. So let's take a look at what we have so far. Um, okay, let me refresh. Yeah, it looks like a hot mess at the moment, just this. And obviously this is not what we want. So let's bring in CSS so that we can style what we have so far. And from there, we move on. Okay, so for CSS, I'm going to call this styles.css. So I'm just creating a new file. I'm going to say styles.css. I'm going to remove the padding and the margin, unnecessary padding and margin. And so margin zero. Then box size in butter box. Now for the body, I'm going to just say height of 100 viewport, view height. Then font family I want to use here is sans serif. 
because I don't want anything coiled. I want it to just be plain. And from there, I'm going to style the main. So main is going to be height would be 100%. Then the width would be 100% also. And then for the background, we're going to say, a, we're going to give it a linear gradient. Then we'll say red and pink. From there, we're going to say display flex. Then flex direction colon and justify content center then from there we say align item center so let's take a look i know it's not like what we have done so far it could be pretty or anything but let's just see nothing has really changed oh okay of course nothing has changed because <laughs> We didn't link it, so let me do that. Um, so I'm going to say um, link, and I'm going to say href <laughs> slash um, styles.css. Then the relative is going to be style shit. Yeah, so let's see again. Okay, yeah. So that's what we have so far. You can see the lovely linear gradients we're having there. So let's continue. So we're going to continue by styling the section and the section, I'm just going to give it a width. So the section is kind of housing the two things, like just so that there's a defi def define, so that we can define the width. That's essentially why we're having a section, uh, yeah. So, so now I think it should look different. Yeah, that's so. If we just let me put a background color, so we we'll, you will see what I'm talking about. Aqua as usual. So you can see this is just going to be the defined width. Yeah. <clears throat> so let me remove that. And uh, so next we're going to style the song details container this so i'm going to say song details container that's a background color white and then from there we're going to give it a border radius of just five pixel border radius padding we're going to give the padding that's top and bottom 15 pixels then left right 18 pixels so top bottom 15 pixels and uh, then this that's left right so then box shadow so that it doesn't um look flat so we're going to say one pixel one pixel four pixel blood and then color we want to use is black so let's see what that looks like so far uh, yeah. hmm. Did that work? Or is it something? That should, <clears throat> that should work. Well, let me give it a height. Let me just say, um, let me see, hundred percent. Let me see what that would look like. Okay, so yeah, it works. So it's working. Okay. So next we want to say, we want to style the header, this header here. So, um, or maybe we shouldn't style the header. Maybe I should, oh yeah, let's just style the header. So for the header, we're going to, I'm just going to copy this and paste it then pick a child selector and say header so for this we're going to see a height of 300 pixels a background color aqua and then border radius five pixels then we'll say overflow hidden
in transition. But uh, we're going to give it, a, we're putting a transition because of, you know, that opening and closing we saw in the beginning. So yeah, so we're going to say height. That's what we want to transition. Then one second, then ease in out. Okay, so so that we have a, what I'm going to do is this um, base part, I'm going to, I'm going to copy it. Let me just comment it out. So, so I'm commenting it out and so that we can see what we have so far. Exactly. This is what I'm expecting. So as you can see, it looks like a card, a very, very nice card. So this is what we have so far. I had to comment what we did out so that we have a better, we can, so we have a better image. So yeah, we can visualize what we are doing so far better. Now, um, the next thing we're going to do is we want to, for, so that this header can open and close, um, comfortable, like, you know that opening and closing we saw in the beginning. So what is going to trigger that is going to be a class. So it's going to be a class and we're going to call this class closed. And so when this class is present, then we want the header to have a height of zero um, pixels. So let's try to uh, imitate that. But right now, okay, if we refresh, you see nothing happens but let me put a closed here so you could see so if i refresh here you could see it's no longer there so that's what i'm trying to um achieve but we could just take a look at it let's use like a hover so that we can trigger it yeah so if we do um let's say section if we hover over this section, we're going to remove this, but I just wanted to show you how it will look like eventually. So we say song details container, um, header. Height zero. Let me remove this. So if I, you can see, looks like. So if I, so you can see, yeah, that's what we're trying to achieve. Yeah. But obviously it wouldn't be triggered on hover. Mm -hmm. um, so let me remove this. So the next thing we want to um, style will be the album cover. So the album cover is going to be inside here. That's going to be the image. So let me bring, <clears throat> excuse me. So let me bring an image inside. So the image we're going to be using, we're going to be using this one, this one here. So e image, we say SRC um, slash covers album. Then, so um, for the alternate text, I'm going to just say album cover. And for the ID, I'm going to say album cover dash cover. Let me just close this side. <clears throat> so if we look at what we've brought in, so the image is there. Okay. Did I Oh, sorry. I thought I removed. Okay, I haven't saved. Mm -hmm. All right. So the image is there, but it hasn't been styled. So that's what we want to do right now. And yeah, um, we're going to say album. album cover height 100 percent width 100 percent then object fit cover
let's see yeah so it looks good so far really really good so um So back to the HTML, I'm going to bring in an image here to represent that anchor that is pointing downwards so that when we click on it, it turns up. So here I'm going to say image, then source is going to be dot slash icons slash um, it's down, the PNG. I'm going to say ID is equal to expand. I'm just going to give call this expand BTN. So expand BTN. So if we refresh, so it's so large and it's affecting what we're working on. So let's just quickly style this so that we don't have that annoying thing happening over there. Okay, so let me close this. Okay. So now we're going to style the footer. Yeah, this first. So we're going to style the song details container. And we say footer. And then we say display flex. Say justify content space between so that it's end to end. Align items center. And then we say margin top 15 pixels. So because we just want a bit of space. Then I'm going to style the expand button. Expand button for now. So I'm going to say BTN. I'm going to say height. I want the height to be small, so 20 pixels. And then I'm going to rotate by minus 180 degrees. And then transition. Because I want, you know, it's going to do that little spin. So what I want to transition is rotate one S, one second, and let's just say ease for this one. So refreshed this is what it looks like so it's pointing it's down it's a down arrow but now it's pointing up because we said rotate minus um 180 degrees right and next i want to style the song artist so let's say song artist because it's going to be gray so it has a different feel from um the title itself so I'm just going to say color, gray, and matching top three pixels. Save that. Fresh. So yeah, that's that's much better. Okay. So yeah. So what we want all to do is for this expand button, when there is the closed here, when there's that closed um, class. What we want to happen to the expand button is we want it to rotate back to its normal position, which is zero degrees. So say closed, and we're going to say expand. Uh, let me just copy this. So I'm going to say rotate zero degrees. No. 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 Save. Okay, so let's try to imitate that, right? So let's, I'm just going to say, um, when I hover over this, I'm just going to copy and this like this. So when I hover over it, over, yeah, we're going to see it spin. So now it's up, so can you see it goes down? But obviously this would be triggered on click. So let's, let me remove that. All right. Um, the next thing we want to do is we want to style this controls container. We're done with the 
top part so let me remove the comment and comment that and it's time to style the button so the first thing i'm going to just copy this so this this i'm going to say background color white and margin top 20 pixels padding um, 20 pixels zero pixels and border radius border radius five pixels display flex and say justify content space around i want a space around here then box shadows so that it's not flat like we did um for the top aspect the box shadow we're going to say one pixel one pixel then blow then we say black save nothing much would have changed well something you see it is going to be so many huge images so yeah but that's not what we want obviously but at least we could see the box the bottom box uh -huh. yeah um <clears throat> so let me style all the images so that they are small and we can have a better we can have clarity on what we're working with so let's just say control so um so i'm going to say controls container this and then all the child images under it so let me just copy this so any descendant that is an image so I'm just going to say 20 pixels like we did previously. So we save and all the images are now small. Yeah. Okay. So now you have a better idea of what we're working with. Okay. Um, now let's style the plain box. Excuse me. Uh, okay, no, let me do it here. Rather than typing that out, let me copy and paste this plain box, plain box, and we're going to say uh, height. I'm going to, I want to give it a definitive height. The reason I'm doing this is so that when the um, it's changing from play to pause, we don't want a shift in the height of the container itself if we don't do it like this there's going to be this weird change and i am trying to prevent that okay um so we say pause button or btn and so we're going to say display none so we don't want the pause button in the beginning so now the pause button is gone all right and so when we're going to put a class here so whenever that class is present when it's in when it's in plane when we put a class called plane then we want that pause button to pop up yeah if you understand what i'm i'm trying to say and then when this plane is there, we want the um, play button to disappear. So we're going to say play button should be display none. So for playing, so we're going to just say playing. And then we're going to say if there's playing, then we'll say we want this play button. That is this one. This play button. We want it to be display none. And then when the plane is there, let me just duplicate this. And when this plane is there, we want this to be pause. And then we're going to say this should be block. Right, save. So if I put plane here, let's see what happens. Plane. So if I refresh, you should see. 
So you can see now on the pause button is showing that the play button is hidden. But obviously, so I'm just going to remove that because at the end of the day, that's not what we are going to start with. So next, we're going to um, style the controls container. And we're just going no not con well, we're just going to style the next button. I think that's better. So let's say next button. So it's looking to the it's pointing to the left. We want it to point to the right. And we're just going to say simply, we're just going to say rotate 180 degree. And save. Refresh. Yeah. That looks right. So yeah, that's the end of our CSS. And we will jump on to JavaScript next. I'm going to create a JavaScript file. I'm going to call this main.js. Main.js. And I'm just going to say console.log yam. So yam. Then I'm going to link it here. So script, script source, we're going to say dot main.js. Then we'll just come here and refresh and see if it's linked already. So far it's linked, so yeah, it's working. It's working. Going to come here, main the chest. I'm going to remove this. Okay, so the first thing we want to work on, we're going to work on the top half first. That is where the image is, the um, name of the artist, and the title of the song. Yeah, that's we're going to essentially the top card. That's what we're working on first. So we're going to say const song. Let me copy so song title. So let me just copy this down. So I'm gonna say song title display is equal to let me close this side. Is equal to document dot get element by ID. Say song title. Yeah. So next we're going to say um so the artist so the artist display so let me copy this so song artist display is equal to document that get element by id i should have just duplicated honestly okay so we also want to take note of the cover so this so i'm going to copy this so now let me just duplicate. So this is going to change to cover. So song cover, then I'm changing this and just pasting. Okay. So, um, yeah, let's see what we have so far with that. So with this, I'm going to create what is called, a, I'm going to create a variable and I'm going to give it present track. And that's what I'm going to say. So I'm just going to say let, sorry, present track equals to, it's going to be an object. So this object is going to have title. So we're going to say the title is um, whatever and Then we're going to see artist. Then we're going to see ASQ, artist. Then we're going to see um, song cover. The song cover is just, um, is, so essentially it's going to be one of these. So I'll just pick you one of them. So I say dot slash covers, slash album cover. dot jpg then for the song itself that is going to be played 
I can say um, dot slash songs, which is this folder songs. Okay, so songs slash whatever dot mp3. So remember, this can be whatever song you have on your device whatever and if you don't have a song on your device you could just get a an, a song online just paste the link that is if it is an accessible mp3 file that and an accessible audio file that it, that is yeah um okay so you get that um next i'm going to create a function i'm going to call this function um I, I don't let me not create a function yet but eventually what we are typing now will be put into a function so i'm going to say so the song title display dot inner text is equal to present track dot title yeah so if i refresh now it should move from shooting stars to whatever so let's see yeah so you're getting the hang of what i'm trying to achieve yeah so next i want to do song artist display that inner text is equal to present track dot artist then um the song the album cover or the song cover so song cover display dot source is not in our text this time so it's the source of the image is equal to present track dot song cover so i don't expect the cover to change i, I think it's still going to be the same yeah it's going to be the same because it's the same as what it's is there on the html okay so these i want to put these inside a function so that we can call it in future when it's time for us to move from one track to another. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, can say function display present details. Let's say display present details. Okay. Then I'm just going to say, just cut this and I'm going to paste this here. Then I'm just going to call this function. Yeah. So that's so we have the name covered. What we want to do next is that when we click on this, it should spin and this should close. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring in expand button. into expand button and this container uh, was uh, this this thing yeah so we're going to bring two of them inside um because you remember this is where the class this class closed is going to be yeah so i'm going to bring those two in here and i'm going to call this song this will stand debt or song deet container. So song details container is equal to, let me copy this down. So I'm going to say document dot query selector. Then I'm going to put a dot and I'm going to paste. Right? So next is for the expand button itself. So I'm just going to say expand the capital B BTN is equal to document dot get elements by ID and say expand BTN. Yeah. So now that we've brought that inside, I'm going to um I'm going to add an event listener to this. After adding an event listener to this, then we would make it open and close toggle will toggle the um opening and closing of the that album cover or the 
yeah or the song cover any one you want to call it so i'm going to come down here um so let me just say change let me just give this a comment and say changes the song title and artist of the currently playing song all right to let me say to the currently playing song okay no, instead of off okay so now we're going to see expand so expand btn.addeventlistener so the event we're putting is click and then we're going to create a function called toggle album showing yeah that kind of makes sense the function and we'll see toggle album showing and we'll do this and this and this we create a function called toggle album showing so we're going to create a uh, another variable and this variable is going to track whether the cover is opened at the moment or if it is not showing at the moment so we're going to say just above this i'm going to say let is cover open equal to true right so back here if cover is so here we're just going to put that if the cover is open we should close it mm -hmm. so we're going to just add that closed um class so if is so that that is if it is currently opened I get to say song the container we want to do so this container we want to add a class list so i'm going to say class list dot add and then we'll say closed so let me just put a comment here that was that would just say closes the album cover and rotates the error the expand error yeah so else if it is closed we're gonna say we're just going to remove this that's what's gonna happen so let's see remove yeah so i'm just copying i'm going to copy this and just paste it here too I'm going to see open the album cover. So after this, we're going to toggle this to, so if it is true, let's change it to false. If it is false, let's change it to true, right? So is cover open is equal to, we'll just the opposite, essentially. That's what this means. Okay. So let's see if what we've done so far works. So I'm going to refresh this and let's give it a while. So now I'm clicking. Mm, works. Yep. Yeah. So now that that is done, let's um, move to this base area. Now let's bring in these, all these icons or buttons, whatever you want to call it, at the top here. And we would give it an event listener so that we can proceed with what we're here for okay so here we're gonna say const clean box so first let me just copy this the plain box we're gonna say plain box is equal to document dot query selector so plain box then we're going to say the next button so const next btn is equal to document dot get element by id 
and say next btn so let me duplicate this so i'm going to change this next to back and this to back to okay so now that we've brought in those let's give them event listeners and we're going to say click yeah so we're going to say um let's just give this and just say music control red so clean box dot add event listener we say click and then we're going to say initiate music process so that's what i'm just going to call this function initiate music process now let's so what we're going to do is just we're going to just try to make a song play that's what we want to do now so uh -huh. we're going to make a song play at this point at least let's at least let a song play and the first thing we're going to do is we are going to bring in a a an audio uh yeah an audio object and so let's just put that here so we're going to say const main player no no main player as it calls a new audio and the audio we want to start with is let's just say present track dot song so here we are supposed to you're just supposed to put the url of what you want to play with this audio essentially so since what we are working with is local that's why we're doing this if you get what i mean all right so after doing that you we also want to bring in um what is it let's okay let's mm, mm, let's see okay let us play a song then would we'll, we'll pause it manually and we'll continue so let's just say initiate music process and what could you say we're just going to say playing no 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 let's just say main player so main player that play right so so let's see if it would work so refresh okay so yeah it's working so i'm just going to manually pause it so it doesn't keep playing okay um yeah so that works next we're going to bring in a variable why do i keep saying bring in we're going to create a variable and we're going to call this variable uh, is music playing so is, is are we currently playing a song that's what this is going to signify and we're just going to say is music playing say equal to so in the beginning music isn't playing so we're going to say false okay so this is what we're going to be tracking so if music is playing then we want to remove that um pause we want to remove that play button and replace it with the pause button that's what we want to do so if music is playing that's um the pause button shows if it's not playing then the play button shows all right okay so next we're going to say so we're going to start here and we're going to say is if music is playing mm -hmm, right I'm going to pause the music so main player dot pause right good and then we're going to say playing box so that is this this playing box so playing box dot class list oops sorry what just happened the class list the remove playing if it's there it's going to remove it else we're going to say main player dot play so i'm going to play song so i'm going to then now let me duplicate this and cut 
then we're just going to add plane yeah okay so now what we want to do is we wanted to switch so we're going to say is music plane equal to the opposite so we are changing it from true to false and from false to true okay save so now if we refresh yep works as expected we pause and yeah so yeah Ooh, okay we're making good progress so the next thing we want to do is we want to move from one song to the other and yeah so we're going to start with moving to the next song but before we move to the next song or that let's create two variables uh the first variable is going to be the index that will track so remember one of the principles that you should remember like i call the child's principle is that when you are dealing with a list and you want to go from one part of that list to another like sequentially make use of an index yeah all right so we're going to say let present index is equal to zero which will indicate the first um song that we're working with so now let's bring in all the songs that we want to work with so all tracks um so we're going to create an array of objects so the first object is going to be this obviously so i'm just going to copy and paste it there's no need for us to stress ourselves on that then the next we are going let me just duplicate this and change the title uh, so i could call this betty and this is by charles monroe yep i'm gonna say cover two and betty so if you're wondering who charles monroe is yeah well he's talking <laughs> okay yeah so betty so those are the tracks we're working with okay next thing we want to do is let's add it let's so for the this next body we're going to add an event listener to it and then we'll yeah play okay so let's see so let's add an event listener so here i'm just going to say next btn dot add event listener click so we're going to create a function called move to next song right so let's copy this so function move to next song right so we're going to first make the is music plain we're going to make it false so we're just going to say it's false we're going to make it false the reason is so that when you click next you want if we don't make it false then when we play or pause there's going to be like a glitch and yeah we're trying to prevent that okay so if um okay let's just start with um present index plus plus that is we want to move to the um next index and then we're going to say present track is equal to all tracks then the present index right okay the main player that source should now be the present track dot song right and then we want to now display the details so this is so, so the importance of this comes in so you know that will just immediately change everything for us we don't need to stress ourselves and then we'll now initiate the music process again yeah so that covers it for us um so let's see what we have so far so very fresh and i click this so that works 
that works the problem now is that if we click on this again it's going to break because we have gotten to the end of like our track list that's the end so what we want to do is when we get to the end let's go back to the beginning right so we're going to say if present index is equal to all tracks dot length minus one that is if we are at the end of the array what we want to say what we want to do is present index is equal to zero let us put a comment here if the user has gotten to the last track all right else that next we will then else we're just going to move to the next track okay that should cover it so it shouldn't break this time so next next goes back to the beginning and so on so forth okay um let's see yeah let's bring in let's add an event listener to the um back button so that it goes to the previous one yeah okay so that's going to be back button that add event listener click again so this time what we want to call it is moving we want to move to previous song move to previous song so I'm just, I'm going to copy this. Then I'm going to say function mode previous song. Yeah. So it's going to be kind of almost the same way. So we're just going to start with this first. Mm -hmm. Then if we are in the first track, Okay, so if we're in the first track, um, so that is present index is equal to zero. What we want to do is we want to say present index should move to the last track. So that's going to be all tracks dot length minus one. Yeah. Else else then we would say present index minus minus so else just go to the previous track that's what it, we're essentially doing here all right so um at the end of the day every other thing is the same all these are the same so instead of copying and pasting and repeating ourselves i would just say um hmm. I think okay I think this should come here so we'll just see this should be the initiate music process then all this we would cut it and then hmm. okay no 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 okay let's just instead of let's just say let's just put this safe and let us call this change process something like that and we'll just paste it so here we'll call change process and here we'll call change process too yeah so it should still work the same way fingers crossed yeah so if we go back, mm -hmm. so yeah, so that brings us to the end of this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you angels for sticking to the end. Um, yeah, on to the next one. And if you really, if you enjoyed this um, tutorial, 
please drop a like and subscribe please and yeah i will see you in the next one bye